I have two Ellie Wiesel stories for you. The first one has to do with the day when we were having class at Boston University, and Ellie was teaching us the concept of the Zadik, who's the great rabbi of the Hasidic tradition, the wonder rabbi often, tremendous person. And after he discussed this a bit with us and outlined the ideas, one of the students said to him, you're our Zadik, Ellie. Right at that time, there was this tremendous clatter outside the window. And we were on the top floor, and there was a, a, one of those traffic helicopters coming up the river, making an enormous noise. So when somebody said, Ellie, you're our Zadik, he said, no, 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 no. He said, if I were a Zadik, I would say to that, stop. And right then, it cut off, and there was silence. And everybody went, oh, my god including Ellie, of course, who was, <laughs> we're all frightened. Um, as it turns out, uh, we were told later on that the traffic helicopters, when they come up to BU, they turn and cut across away, leave the river and cut across behind the building. It just went out of sound to some extent, but it was a really scary moment. Second Ellie with Al's story. This one, I'll have to give you a word of explanation if you're too young to understand it. We were uh, in a small seminar room one day when uh, Ellie's assistant, Martha, came to the door. We were having a graduate student discussion. She opened the door and leaned in and said, Ellie, telephone. And Mr. Wiesel said, Martha, I'm with my students. This is, this is holy time. You, you know, I, I, I can't come now. She said, Ellie, you have to answer the telephone. He said, Martha, there's nothing more important than my wonderful students, and this is, it says in the Talmud, this is holy time. Martha says, fine, I'll tell Mr. Gorbachev to wait. Now, for those of you who don't know who Mr. Gorbachev was, he was the premier of the Soviet Union, he was the head of the evil empire, <laughs> and he was on the red telephone to Ellie, and so we all said, go talk to Mr. Gorbachev, that's fine. There, there's two quick Wiesel stories for you. <laughs>